Well, first of all, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and uh, just very thankful um, during this time of year to be able to do the thing that I love, and which is help and mentor young men and uh, through the game of basketball. And so, so blessed uh, to be here, and very thankful for our crowd. I mean, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and, and uh, I was very impressed with our, our crowd showing up. And I know not a lot of students on campus, but the ones that were close by came, and so very thankful for that. And thought our guys um, very workmanlike uh, in the game today. Um, they approached it the right way, and they played it the right way, and uh, the results, you know, speak for themselves. Coach, we saw Naquan on the bench tonight. What's his status now moving forward? Uh, I mean, no, nothing's changed. He's There's a certain process in this that's been taken care of, and now we move on to the next part of things. Um, uh, I wanted Naquan around the team because it's not good for him to be by himself and isolated. Uh, that's that's not a part of um, – that's not, never good for someone – to not be around the people that love him and uh, and have him go through this by himself. So he's been at practices with us. He hasn't been practicing because uh, his ankle is still hurt, um, but uh, he's been at practice and he's been in film sessions and in you know all our mentor meetings and stuff. And so um, he is still a part of this team and uh, just not active. Coach, I was curious if you could talk a little bit about Arthur and just what he's been able to give you this early season. Yeah, no, Art, uh, I think somebody asked something about a game in which he struggled, and my answer was that he needed to buy in, and, and Art is buying in. And today is one of those games where he could have easily, you know, tried to just go put up numbers, um, you know, and uh, because he was more talented than the guys out there. But I thought he played the game the right way, and you know, I mean, then it it looked really good. You know, 20 <clears throat> points, eight rebounds, three to one assist to turnover. Um, and when turnover has been an issue for him, he's a really good passer. And I, I think Art can be a triple double guy. And uh, I'm looking forward to that part of his game growing and him uh, taking advantage of those those opportunities. When you say uh, buy in, it seems like. There can always be a process with with a new new player and a new system and a new school and so on and so forth. How quickly did that take place for him? Well, you know, um, I don't know that like he's fully bought in or anybody yet in our group is fully bought into what we need to do and how we need to do it. And uh, you know, and I, I honestly don't think that I'm fully bought in on every guy. You know, and and so as as a staff. And as a team, we all have to like give a little bit more of ourselves and um, towards this of becoming the team we're capable of being. And that's players and coaches included. You guys had more rebounds than any case team had in over 20 years tonight. Coming in, I know rebounding was a huge emphasis to kind of see that starting to kind of show up. How, how nice is that? Well, yeah, you know, when you get that many rebounds, that means there was a whole bunch of shots missed. <laughs> and so, um, but I was very pleased with the the 26 offensive rebounds and the 34 points, second chance points. So early in the year, we were getting offensive rebounds, but we weren't getting the paycheck. And now we're starting to get the paycheck. And I think uh, that um, we can be even more productive off of our offensive rebounding moving forward. And so excited. That means we got guys who are paying attention. Um, they're, you know, we we chart every guy, every play, whether they go, whether they block out, you know, just all those things. And and we're starting to see, you know, those numbers increasing. And um, over the next couple of weeks, I expect us to to make a another big jump. Michaela gets his first double-digit game. Uh, has that crazy one-handed put-back dunk. Uh, the freshmen, each time you guys go out there, they're kind of revealing something else to, to, to fans that you guys are already seeing in practice. But how cool is it to kind of watch that that process take place? Yeah, no, it, it's it's really exciting, man. And, uh, you know, um, you saw, you know, Dede against Providence, um, and then we didn't get to see him against Miami, right? And, and so tonight, 
um, you get to see him in a situation where he gets to like show more of some things that he can do and his assist to turnover. I mean, I, th I think, uh, let me make sure I get this, but he was a three, three to one assist to turnover tonight, right? And I thought he, he made some point guard plays that don't show up in the stat sheet, you know, getting guys in position and talking more and, and you know, RJ, you know, um, there, there's still a breakout for RJ coming, right? And uh, it's just, but his defense has improved so we can trust him out there more and then Buddy is just a freak, right? And, you know, when you saw him compete against Miami, right, so you know that he's willing to compete at a level that gives you a chance against a team like that. So now we can get him out there against some teams that allow him to show some of the gifts that he has, you know, that, that are past his competitiveness and, you know, and toughness. So I, I, I like what I'm seeing from him, and uh, there's a reason why we recruited him. Tyler doesn't score in the first half, but he has five assists, I think. Is that kind of, you talked about him developing as a point guard. Is that something he, it looks like he gives you something even when he's not. Yeah, you know, um, I, I, my challenge to him there was to get 11 assists, and, and he could have, right? Like, he, he, he's got a, he's got a, um, like some, some guys are wired a certain way in that uh, when they see the ball go in the hole, it like gives them energy. And I, that's how he's wired. But if he wants to, to be the player that he's really capable of being, um, he's got to get to where when he sees his teammates score, right, and, and he sets them up that it, it gives him energy. And that was a, a, a shift that Keese was able to make last year. And it allowed him to be the player he was at the end of the year. And, and that's going to be a process for, for Tyler. It's reading the tags and, you know, certain things that, that he hasn't had to do before. And, but he's, he's working at it every day. And um, today, you know, I think what six to one, you know, um, pleased with, with, with that. But it, it could be 11 to one. David, a double double, I think it's his second one. Uh, is that kind of what you, you, you saw coming in this season for him? Yeah, well, you know, when Dave plays with energy, man, um, he just gives us so much. And I don't know if any of y'all saw him being mic'd up at practice the other day. And I just told him, I said, dude, that's, that's the guy I need every day, right? Not just because they have a mic on you, because you're capable of doing it. And so our, our team individually are telling on themselves, right? Uh, Tyler Perry, the second half, takes on the challenge of denying Nigel packed the ball in the Miami game. We didn't think we could put him on him uh, because of what we saw at practice. And then he tells on himself in the second half. So now we know we can challenge like, bro, you're a way better defender than you've been letting on. Uh, Dave's way more of a talker than he's been letting on. You know, Arthur's a better passer than he's been let. So every day they're telling on themselves and now we can hold them accountable at a higher level. And so, um, you know, I like the direction we're going. Were you happy with the defense early? I think they were two for 20. They missed their first 10 shots. Yeah, you know, we, I thought, and, and, and it wasn't like they just missed shots. I thought we made a miss uh, early on. And I was, uh, so I was very, very pleased with that. We challenged them as the game started getting separation in the first half, you know, to hold them to think it was 23 points in the first half. And we could have had them at 19 had they not hit that three at the end, but it was 22. So I, I really like the, the, the way the guys approach that part of it. Coach, you scored 28 of your 49 points in the first half in the paint. How important was it to dominate the paint? Yeah, we, we, um, I thought we had a, a strength advantage, like, because they're, they're a tall team. Um, uh, in the paint and uh, one of the things that I felt like in the Miami game uh, we, we settled for too many shots without getting the ball to the paint and so that was a real emphasis today and um, you know put it up on the board before we went uh, to the game like the, how important paint points were going to be and and it's always nice when the when your team buys into the thing that you're asking them to do take care of the ball get to the paint we did both of those things. We've seen what Arthur can do on the court. What do you appreciate most about him as a person? 
Well, I, I think he really cares. And uh, like he has a very caring spirit. And uh, he cares what people think about him. He cares, you know, about his teammates and what's going on, you know, in their lives. Uh, he cares about us as coaches. Like he always asks, Coach, how you doing? You know, and he really means it. It's not just, and, and so that, that's, that's, and he gets that from his mom and dad because they are like unbelievable human beings, you know, and, uh, and so, um, yeah, just very blessed that, that Art's here. Hey, thanks a lot. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.